What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with some unordinary content. Uh, fun fact, uh, this is probably like, this is the second, not the problem, this is definitely the second time that I've shot this video because the first one was before the season was over. But I didn't want to put it out because I thought it'd be a mistake, and I got to see some stuff confirmed. But that's enough rambling. So this video, as if you don't know by the title, it is about ability combinations. As we know, I don't. Um, this hasn't been. Well, I mean, kind of confirmed, whatever. But we know that John Joker Tuesday, whatever you want to call him, Executioner, Punisher. He's able to. So far from what we've seen, he is able to control four abilities at a time or at least is able to control four high tier abilities at one time that's a whole other discussion for another day that i talked about with the jokers and all that but let's just go with let's just stick to four let's just say he can control let's say he can control four abilities at the same time now we have seen him combine uh eisen and blake's ability which i'm still mad at myself that i didn't just make a video or a comment or something about it but he combined eisen's and blake's ability which made homing uh lasers which was just awesome and as deadly as all can be actually and he combined it with remy's ability so even if the uh the lasers didn't hit you directly or they grazed you you would get uh you would get a, a dose of static, it was, well not static, you would get a dose of electricity to stun you, therefore it still did its job which was to immobilize you either directly and take you out or you would get shocked if it grazed you. Pretty dope combinations. Now, I got to talking with the Jokers and I got to thinking on my own. I was like, what, 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 would, what would be some cool abilities that John could use? Like it, like all this. Like I had to, had to do some research. I had to go through a lot of the abilities in the series. And I didn't really realize how many abilities we had actually seen in this story. It's crazy. I didn't get. I didn't write all of them. I just wrote down ones that I think would be interesting. And even some of the ones that are interesting, I might not bring up in this video. This might be a two-parter or something. Cause. Season 2 is on the way, we're going to get new abilities and it's going to be crazy. But anywho, so, as you know, John can combine abilities. We've said this plenty of times. Hold on, wait, I'm looking kind of short. Yeah, there we go, I feel better. So, abilities that I think John would be, that would, I lost my pencil. Y'all, I'm losing my mind because I had to write all this stuff down. Anywho, do y'all remember, um... What is her name? Her name is Yu Lin. I, I, I'm gonna put pictures of the people that I name because a lot of these, some of these characters you've only seen like one time, and that's it. But this character's name is Yu Lin. It is what we got introduced to her when John was chasing after uh, Junie, and she, he followed her into the, uh, the cafeteria. And we got introduced to those two characters: one boy, one girl. The boy had red hair. I, I can't remember his name. His, his ability was called Ketchup, and then Yu Lin was the blue-haired girl, her ability was called Clobber. The name is self-explanatory unless you beat the everlasting mess out of your opponent. Now, do y'all remember Howard? Howard is the uh, blonde, I think, yeah, Howard is the blonde-haired kid that fought Serafina when she first got introduced to Evie. His ability was called Heat Palm. Now, I don't really know the full scope of Heat Palm. I don't know if it just literally his hand just heats up or he can like grab something and spread the heat or whatever. Like, um, uh, there's a character from One Piece who kind of has that ability or whatever. But I was thinking if John took both of those abilities, he could combine Clobber with Heat Palm. And, you know, not only are you, you know, now you're getting your face beat in you're also probably you're also taking like heat damage because remember when John copies an ability he doesn't just copy it at his base of raw stats he boosts it times two so it's in an amped state is what I call it they're amped up because like it, even with, uh, uh, when he uh, when he took Blake's ability the lasers were more powerful and they and he could do more with it I, I feel like most of the time it just the ability that's how the ability would be 
after the person like really trained it or maybe they got older and got more mastery over it over time that's how i feel about it when he uh when they go in their amps i feel like it's just a final form that they could reach if you practice enough now like i said he could combine clobber with heat palm and you know that would you know, that way essentially, you know, you, you're beating the mess of the person while they're also taking like heat damage from, you know, wherever you hit them, where you hit them like in the arm, in the head or something. But also, do you remember, what is her name? Her name is Cleo. Now, like I said, I'm going to put pictures of the people that I named. Uh, I forgot, I don't, I didn't read which chapter she was introduced, but her ability was called Dizzy Punch. You can also combine that with Clobber. Not only are both of these abilities amped up, you know, Clobber with Dizzy Punch, it I think the dizzying effect would kick in, you know, a lot quicker. Like every time, cause you know when Serafina got hit with it, you know she was like, I'm, you know, I'm feeling woozy. Like one hit from this, from Dizzy Punch and Clobber combined with John, you probably would almost be guaranteed to like not knock the opponent out, but like the, the you probably caused them to have like uh, uh, not like extreme nausea and uh, vertigo. That's what I was looking. For vertigo and all that they might you know they, they might as well pass out at that point now another ability that we all know of, this is pretty recent is Abel Abel's the one dude that tried to kick John off of the roof uh, when he was looking for Seraphine and other he, he's appeared in other chapters too his ability is called explosion now ability an ability I think it would go well with is if you combine Abel's ability with um, Arlo's now once again, John amps up all abilities. Now, I do not know. This has not been confirmed. We have not seen it. Now, you, most of us know that when Arlo uses his ability, it's either to cover himself up, which is his ability is barrier, if, if you didn't know. If you didn't know, I, I don't know how you're here. But Arlo's ability is barrier. Abel's is explosion. Now, we, I, we do know that Arlo likes to encase his opponent in the barrier, and he likes to shrink it, because also one of the effects of his bar barrier is, is if you hit it, and you're not able to like do damage to it the the blow that you did that you sent to the barrier gets reflected back on you now i don't know if it's throughout your entire body or if it's just that one specific area like if i punch it is my arm just going to get messed up or am i going to feel it throughout same thing if i kick it is my leg going to get it we we don't know let's just let's just assume that it goes throughout your entire body but yeah we know that arlo likes to encase his opponents in the barrier and shrink it. So the main point I'm getting at is Arlo is able to shrink it. Now what degree he's able to shrink it to, I do not know. And also, if he's able to like project, we, we know he can project it, but here what I'm getting at is you can take Abel's explosion and put it inside of Arlo's barrier. And once again, I don't know if Arlo's only able to make one barrier or if he's able to make like, you know, two or three. Or, or, I don't know how it would, but John, we saw it, but he did the same thing and he, you know, he was a little bit more creative with it. But let's, let's just say for the sake of this video that he is able to make multiple small barriers. Not, not, they won't be as strong as the, you know, one full great barrier, but you know, they, they have resistance. They can hold up, you know, maybe one to one or two good punches. That's about it. And they, they break. So let's, like I said, you take Abel's explosion and you put it in Arlo's barrier and you just leave them on the ground or on the wall or heck, even if you're, if you can get close enough to your opponent where they're not paying attention, put it like on their back or something or like on their arm and they'll be like, what is that? And then you release the barrier and the explosion goes off. You're, you're essentially making uh, sticky grenades from Call of Duty or Halo or landmines. And you can, you know, you already got the explosion in there. The barrier is what's keeping it inside and when you want to you just release it or if your opponent hits it hard enough it you know it explodes so that's that's one way i thought about it and then also one ability that was already showcased that i'm kind of mad that i didn't say anything about is arlo and remy's ability which pretty much essentially makes a lightning cage is what they did to john and if he did he was able to power through it and able to keep his focus merely for the fact that he has more battle experience than them but so yeah, like like I said, Rem, uh, I think Abel and Arlo's ability would be a good match. Abel and no, oh, and no, Arlo and Remy's is a good match. Actually, I just thought of this. So, like I said, we, we're still going with Arlo right now. So, like I said, Arlo likes to encase his opponents in his barrier, and he likes to shrink it. Let's say that John copies it and he puts the opponent in there, but also he shoots a laser from Blake. 
and you know, like I said, you know that the uh, barrier is pretty strong. Say, let's say that the laser ends up reflecting off of the barrier, you know, sort, sort of like a mirror. And he fires like one or two, three shots in there, and you you shoot three beams, and you encase it, and the 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 uh, say the person dodges while they're still in the barrier, but now it's in there and it's ricocheting like a bullet or something. You just bounce. You know, that's crazy. Actually, you can add another ability. Add uh, Aizen's ability on it. Because, you know, Aizen and Blake make homing uh, homing lasers, homing missiles. Or, uh, Digi said it best, he, the dark side laser from the, uh, from, uh, from the DC universe and all that. Imagine all that and they're ricocheting off Arlo's barrier. You're screwed. Not only are the lasers following you, but now they're, they're, you're already in a close, in an enclosed space. And if you want the if John wants to, he can shrink it. No, just, I'm just, y'all. This video is gonna be long. I'm gonna tell you right now because I got a list of abilities that I would like to see John do. Now, there is a person that is called Misa. Misa was the green-haired girl that took part in the um, one of the one of the most probably hated arcs of the story for me right now is the arc where Serafina gets kidnapped, pretty much, and tortured and all that. Uh, Misa was one of the people that wanted to get revenge on her. Misa is also the chick that Serafina slammed her head into against the wall. So she wanted revenge. Now her ability, I didn't know this at the time so I looked it up. Her ability is called repulsion. It's simple. She's able to repulse uh, things. I don't know how uh, what the extent is, but you know, with inanimate objects and people, I don't know how far it is. But now, <laughs> I cannot make this name up. I don't know why Ura Chan went with this name, but there is a character in the story called Waldo. No, like no, like real deal. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shitting you. His name is Waldo. <laughs> he was, he was the boss that Remy uh, fought when she was on her ecstatic. No, when she, not ecstatic. It's her brother's super name. When she was on her X-ray uh, missions and you know helping the low tiers in the city and all that. Re uh, Waldo's ability is called Shockwave. Now, normally, I think I think it was stated like he was just like a regular, uh, I think like a low tier, and he took that drug and it amped him up and it made his ability true. Uh, it, it boosted it boosted his stats into high tier status, or whatever. His ability, like I said, is called Shockwave. Now, like I said, shock, now Shockwave. If you don't know what Shockwave is, uh, the best way I can put it is. No, breaking the sound barrier. No, break. Yeah. So, like, you know when a jet breaks the sound barrier, and sometimes you see like the glass and all that stuff move and all that. Normally, like sometimes it breaks, sometimes it doesn't. Now, what I'm saying is, imagine that combined with repulse. With repulse, you like, how would that work? Well, the shock waves can be pretty powerful on their own. Now, imagine adding a boosting factor to it with repulse. Like adding in, to, like as the shock waves coming, in, it's already causing damage, but with the repulse. It's already, it's like, look, say you got the shock, say there's a brick wall, and on its own, shockwave can't, you know, shockwave can, you know, dent it, maybe crack it, but, you know, it, it won't, it won't break, it, it won't break on the first shot, or maybe the second shot, but add repulse in there, on top of them both being amped up to times two, their power, now, one shockwave with repulse, wall's obliterated, it's a deadly combo, now, and also, you got to think about this. I'm just spouting off ideas that I think would be dope. Now, how John would actually use them is a different story because he's classroom-wise not not the brightest penny in the bunch. But on the battlefield, he's a tactical genius. One from experience, and two, he's just he's somehow able to really think outside the box with these abilities. Probably because he doesn't have them and he's just trying crap or whatever. But I think that would be dope now also i'm going i'm going i know i'm probably going through these names fast but there is a character her name is melody now i do know when melody was introduced i don't know the chapter number i think it was chapter 79 or something but melody is a pink haired girl she goes to the other high school she doesn't go to wilson she goes to things pronounced ogwin high school or whatever now, she got introduced when Arlo and Remy were in, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm saying this mainly for Ty. Ty, I hope you see this video and I hope you relive this chapter. But, Melody was, Arlo and Remy were in a, were, were at a restaurant and they were talking and all that mess. And then, I think on the TV in the restaurant, the topic of vigilantes or superheroes got brought up. 
Obviously, Remy kind of has a little bit of soft spot, mainly for her brother and all that. But Melody overheard this conversation. And now, at this point in time, she did not know who she was talking to. She thought she was just talking to random kids from the other school. So she told pretty much told Remy her disdain for his, uh, vigilantes and all that, and she poured a drink over this girl's head. Now, obviously, this did not go well because uh, she was dealing with the king and the queen of her, the, the top, not only the top ranked school in the area, but her direct rival school. Yeah, and she, she ain't nothing but a mid-tier. Yeah, but her ability is called impact. Now, how big the impact is when she actually hits something, I don't know. Let's just say she's able to create, you know, like a, a small little crater in the ground. Something, maybe something like this big or something, you know, whatever. Now, an ability I think that would do well with is Ex Abel's ability, Explosion. Abel's already able to hit. I really don't like talking about, I really don't like the fact that his name is Abel. <laughs> You mainly for it because it just sounds weird when I say able. Able is able to. Able's ability is explosion. Combine that with impact, you essentially got a deadly knockout punch on top of the impact that you can create. Imagine uh, John taking those two abilities. Mind you, again, I'm going to say this like 3,000 times. He's amped up the abilities times two. This is probably about the last time I'm going to say it. Y'all should know at this point and he goes to hit someone, not only is it going to cause an impact, probably probably cause a little, uh, 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 break a few bones, but there's an explosion at it on it on top of it now. You, <laughs> you're as, <laughs> what, 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 uh, I'm trying to think of some, I'm trying to think of an anime or something. And, in if you don't know, One Piece is my favorite anime of all time. In One Piece, there's a character, I think his name is called Galdino. He is a he is a boxer and he's he is master, he is able to punch someone so hard that they explode and yeah that it causes an explosion. That is what I get from it and that's kind of why I wanted to put those together because I can just imagine John just running up to Arlo or someone with a, a similar ability and they put a barrier up and he's just like boom and just explodes. It's like what? And then just they get sent flying like a rag doll. It, it, it'd be awesome, dude. It'd be great. On top of Hunter, like, Ice's ability is kind of OP because it lets you see through walls. You get a stat boost. And it pretty much anyone that's in your sight. Now, we don't know how many targets he's able to lock onto. Let's just assume one because even when John uses it, he's only locked onto one target at a time or whatever. I don't know if that can be augmented or what, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And I'm fine with it. Can you imagine... Uh, can you imagine just the abilities? Now, there's another, now this person, I don't, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna pictures up. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering this name. So, most of y'all remember like the, you know, the showcase fight when we got introduced to Blake, Aizen, and Remy, and uh, Seraphina, and all of them for the first time, and all that, well, not for the first time, but you know, when we got to see the abilities for the first time, and all that mess, um, they went and had a battle with Ogwen High School, the rival, the rival high school, and all that. Uh, there was a girl there, her, her name was Rin? Rin? It's R-E-I-N, like I said, pictures. Her ability was Arachnid. She was the queen for Ogwen. She, Arachnid, she was able to grow like pretty much like spider legs out of her back. I don't know if it's only her back or if she can like, or if she can like grow one like out here. Like on, like cyberpunk, like you can grow those scythe, those uh, blades like out of your arm and all that. I don't know if she can do that. I'm going to say for the sake of this video that she can. Now, an ability I think it would be paired well with, eh, it's not really the best, but it would help her. Because uh, it seems like the biggest thing of her is like, once she uses it, she's kind of slow and she's kind of stationary. Now, if y'all remember Win K, Win K was the, um, yeah, I think she was, she, she blonde haired chick, uh, she was also one of the girls that helped in the uh, kidnapping of Serafina and all that. I don't like her. Once again, pictures of it. Her ability was called Speed. Now you can combine that with, like I said, Ren, Ren, I'm sorry, Ren's ability with Arachnid and add speed. Um, you can either make it to where the uh, spider limbs are moving faster and that way it's harder for your opponent to get closer to you. Well, in her case, she got went up against Arlo, that was just a bad match. But with speed, she would probably be able to outrun his uh, barriers and all that and everything. So yeah, that, um, 
that I think that'd be a good one. Now that's kind of it for like the ones that I wrote down and all that. Now these are some abilities I already had off the top of my head. So we all know the doctor in uh, an ordinary Ed Wilson, uh, Darren, blue hair guy, the doctor that's always pretty much cursing the students out whenever they come through his door. His ability is called Nightmare, which is pretty much he's able to scare people and all that. Now we also know Keon, the I don't know what is it, social worker or whatever. I don't know what his job title is. I don't really care. I don't really like the guy. But we also know his ability is able. He is able to make people relive their memories. Now, whether he can only make you relive bad memories or good memories or his soul or his choice. I don't know, but for the sake of this video, once again, let's just say he's able to choose which memories you want to relive, whether they be happy or sad. Now, not specific memories, like he can see like, oh, like when you were six, you fell off a cliff. Oh, never mind, that's a little gruesome, sorry. But I was saying you could combine Darren and Keon's ability and you could, you would essentially be able to break someone, uh, break someone's psyche. like you immensely break them because not only are they already reliving bad memories it's also a nightmare too like Darren on his own is a pretty scary dude but his ability strikes fear into everyone like um like Darren and Keon's ability combined would probably be one of the best interrogation tools ever now granted side effect is the the uh, the suspect in in uh, custody might suffer a severe mental breakdown and it might be a potato or something for the rest of their life but you know hey I'm not, I'm not one for ethics sometimes you got to do what you got to do <laughs> but I, you know, I'm just saying my G <laughs> but those are an ability I think would be just like really really deadly now and a bit uh now, well, now, now I'm running, now see, now these abilities are like escaping me and all that. Now, another ability that probably would be crazy would be um, uh, Ju Junie's ability. You know, her ability is called Flash Forward and all that. Now, with John, I think he probably made I'm not going to say he's going to be able to see far. I, the max I can say if John copied her ability, he'd be able to see would maybe be like... I'm gonna say five seconds, and even then, I feel like that's a little too long to be, be able to look into the future. Cause five seconds, that's it's kind of long. But you know, imagine combining Junie's ability in with like, let's just let's let's say uh, let's say Cecile. Cecile's ability is called Energy Rope. You know that now. Jo with Junie, she's only able to see into immediate um, immediate future like at the last second with John I think he'd be able to access it not anytime he wanted but more not more frequently he wouldn't have to be like in a in a tense situation or whatever you could use that ability and have and set a uh, rope and set up traps with Cecile's ability like over the battlefield if you like if you set it up like if you knew the battlefield and all that and you had time to make preparations and scan and see where everything is at yeah you could probably set traps and knowing that um, and being able to see into the future, you'd be able to set the traps like better and all that. So like, say you're like, okay, I gotta fight this dude tomorrow. Let me see into the future for like five seconds. Well, no, that wouldn't work. Take them back. They'd be broken. Cause they'd just be seeing completely into the future. They'd be seeing like a day ahead or something. But let's just you know, during the fight, John is very, John is very uh, astute and uh, attentive on the battlefield. He's, you know, he pays attention to everything. He sees what's going on, even even if he's not able to react to it all the time, he's still able to adapt like really quickly. But with Junie's ability, it would be he he pretty much would be kind of omnipotent on the battlefield. Work setting and using Cecile's ability, he'd be able to set traps. Like you know, okay, I know they're about to step right. Let me, like, let me do something to distract my opponent. Bam, set it there. And then when they're not paying attention, energy rope on the foot or energy rope on your hands or something. You know, it, it's what it is. Now, guys, now tell me what abilities you think that would be dope. Now, for the sake of just staying in the, within the confines of the story, I'm sorry. Um. Tell me the abilities you think would be dope to mix and what they'd be able to do with the abilities that we have already seen in the in the series already. Um, 
you can go to the wiki online and it'll tell you all the abilities and you know you can tell them so I, i'm really curious on what abilities you think will be dope and it, it doesn't even have to be like an, an effective ability like for battle or anything just tell me something that you would think would be dope and whether it's funny or whether it actually is for combat reasons and all that but um yeah so you guys can just tell me what you guys think um also i want to thank uh today's uh sponsor uh today's sponsor is kawaii uh, waru uh, com. they are an anime uh clothing line well they do more than clothes they do um they do shirts they do tank tops they didn't do this one uh i'll leave i'll leave a link for it for their store and all that in the description and everything but um they're sponsoring this video um if you i have if you you can go by the website they have really nice clothing like i have a few of the shirts unfortunately i've already worn them and they got to be washed but the, the shirts that they that i bought that i purse that i wear they are really comfortable they are really well made it's nothing cheap cheaply done i've already had the shirts for like a few weeks and i've washed them a few times and they look they look really good you know and on top of that like i said they don't just do shirts they do shirts they do tank tops they do leggings for women i don't i i kind of hope they do sweatpants or something like that in the future but i don't know they do coffee mugs they do stickers they do socks you just gotta go on the website. Look, it's really dope. And they all they they always have some deals or some sales going on. And on top of that, they always doing like discount codes and all that. But if you go in there and you see something that you like, you can use the code that I have. It's called Kawaii Fox. That will be in the description below as well. And I'll put it up on screen. But the code is Kawaii Fox. That will get you 10% off on your uh on your purchase and all that and if you get luck and if you get in there quick enough you might be able to get another code or catch something on a deal you know like i said this stuff is really nice there's there's some jackets in there that i want um i'm planning on buying them because you know winter is heading is coming uh oh game of thrones white walkers that's another video for another day but guys i hope you enjoyed this video i know it's been a minute since i dropped some unordinary content especially with the break and also as of part of this recording um, I have just started school back up, so I want to. I want to. Videos might get a little bit more scarce than they are because it's the final year and my teacher is really ramping things up. But that's enough talking, uh, guys. I really, like I said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do the stuff that I normally tell you to do: like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for when I drop more videos. And if you made it to the end of this video, you are a trooper. I love you to death. Thank you for uh, for coming out. And it's your boy Fox. Uh,